Hello, welcome to my sewing area, my sewing room. Today I'd like to show you the Singer Featherweight and several of the attachments that can go with it. This is the case for the Featherweight and it's also known as the Singer 221. Uh, there's also a 222K version which happens to be a free arm and it's a lot uh, more expensive and harder to find, much rarer. Uh, it was never made in the United States. I believe they were all, the, all the only ones made were made in Scotland uh, at that factory. Um, I have the Singer Featherweight um, 221 set up right now with my button holder, the automatic button holder that comes in this case. And it has extra feet and there's your instruction manual. Um, and I would like to show you how it's pretty much hands-free. You do need to make sure you have your presser foot switch down so that the tension will engage. And uh, I've, I've already taken the first stitch so it doesn't come unthreaded on me because I want to show you how hands-free it is once you've taken that first stitch and locked the, the thread so it won't pop out on you. Um, but this is the great thing about these button holders is they literally will do all the work. All you have to do is use the pick pedal and <laughs> turn it on. Here we go. See? Isn't that easy? Look at that. A perfect, perfect button haul. Now you can actually go around it a couple of times and make them neater. As you can see, I've done some of them a little bit better. You have to make sure you have your um, some interfacing on the back of your fabric. I cheated and just used a used dryer sheet. <laughs> it makes great free interfacing for silly stuff like this. But anyway, um, the stitching right there that you're seeing um, was actually just um, free motion uh, embroidery stuff. Uh, I was learning how to use this particular little foot. It actually um, was specifically made for the two Singer Featherweight 222K. It's Let's see what's the item number on it again. It is 171071. 171071. Samanco. And it is, it will fit on your low shank uh, Singer sewing machines. But anyway, so now that one, that one is a special one. It can be very difficult to find and can be very expensive sometimes. Um, however, it, it does, it does the straight stitch free motion embroidery. I had actually written Singer before I did all kinds of loop-de-loops all over it all. <laughs> um, but uh, here are some of the other uh, feet and attachments for the featherweight um, to give you an idea of some of the other stitches and things that can do. Now this one is extremely rare. Um, I've only seen a couple of places online that even know about them. It, As you can see it's part number 35505. Um, it was either made in the 1920s, oh yeah, June, June 19th, 1929 is what it says on the instructions. And um, it's a two thread embroidery attachment. There's a single thread one as well. Now, I just looked on eBay and three days ago, one of these two thread Singer embroidery attachments that come in that lovely little box um, actually just sold for $599.99 on eBay. So it's a rare one. If you find it, snap it up quick. It does an incredible job. Now. Normally, when you get your featherweight, the normal set of attachments will come in a little green box like this. Um, and not all of these attachments will be in it, but several of these. This is a tucker, and it's also a tuck marker. Of course, your, uh, your um, large and small screwdrivers. This little foot, presser foot, is the shirring foot. That's your straight stitch foot that will come with your machine. That is a um, rolled hem, makes a nice tiny little rolled hem right here, that foot. Um, this little foot right here is semi-rare, hard to find and pretty expensive, um, but sometimes you'll get them in the little set. 
in the little box. You can watch on eBay and sometimes you can get them really cheap. But if you try to buy them by themselves, expect to pay $30 to $50 and sometimes more um, for just that little uh, quilting foot is what that is. And uh, then this is a zipper and or cording foot. This is another version of the Singer zipper cording foot. Um, this is a binder. This is an older binder. It's from the 1940s. It's uh, partly in black side um, from World War II when they ran out of, uh, they couldn't use the chrome and the pretty shiny metals. And so all of the black feet that I have here are called black side attachments. And a lot of people like to collect those and charge a lot of money for them too. Now this is your edge stitcher which you can do all kinds of stuff. You can do braiding uh, in designs on your with this foot. You can do add ribbon, lace. You can do uh, lace joinery, um, like the antique uh, lace work. Um, just all kinds of fun stuff with that. And then this foot right back here is the adjustable hammer for hemming uh, relatively wide hems. If you're not doing the little tiny narrow hem like with the rolled hammer there, um, this will do a much wider hem and it's adjustable for different sizes. This little critter back here is the uh, ruffler which oh you will never believe how fast this makes ruffles and how incredibly beautiful they are how quick they are i never ever seen or use i've always done the slow ruffling until i got this little piece and i was just i've been so excited about it ever since i got it because i like to make my moo moo dresses with these ruffles and as a matter of fact the one i'm wearing right now <laughs> i did the ruffles all on my little ruffler there very, very fast and easy. Um, and then behind the ruffler there, you'll notice this is the Singer Hem Stitcher and Picoting attachment. And this is actually the um, plate, the uh, bobbin plate, or I forget what they call it, hem plate, hem stitching plate, uh, throat plate, that actually is for the 201 because I have two 201s. I do not have the right plate for the featherweight right yet. Um, the hem stitcher itself is usable on all the low uh, shank uh, Singer uh, sewing machines. Um, so you just have to get the right plate for whichever machine that you happen to have. Uh, this little piece back here is your um, it's another version of the binder, but it is a multi, um, oh, what do they call it? It's, it's got, you can do a lot more things on it where you can add lace and ribbon and, and other things, several of them at a time on this particular, uh, binder. Um, this is the little old one that actually came with the set of black side stuff so so there's the little older one from the 1940s and then I don't know what year they came out with this but it was after World War II or at least all the ones I've seen are um, and uh, so you can do more with this one but this one has the lovely little black side part and it does do the the binding and edging just beautifully um, like I said if you want to do more um, you can actually get this one and it will actually hold the different uh, ribbons and fabric separately um, so that it'll make everything sew on really neatly um, I'm gonna go ahead and put those back over here so it's all nice and neat um, and uh, let's see there are a few other things I happen to have um, I have them over here in my Singer sewing table for my 22 which as you can see I have too much other stuff on it right now um, down in the bottom drawer of it it has a little pull out drawer and I have several other boxes of Singer things these are the attachments for my 201 and so you see the little box of the regular attachments. This is an old famous buttonhole uh, from Singer here. Um, it's this famous. It's, it came with a lot of the uh, Singer stuff before they did the, the buttonholers like I just showed you on the featherweight. And then down below here, oh here's 
Here's the manual for the 201-2 that I have, and just to give you an idea, the instructions, here is, oh, piped edges, uh, piping and binding in one, uh, that shows that um, uh, using the uh, binder um, to add different uh, edgings and things. And the nice thing is that if you get the manuals, or a copy of the manuals even, um, or you can do a French fold, adding it to curves um, with that uh, binder. Oh, it's a multi-slot binder, that's what they call it. And here shows you, some. this, this page shows you the edge stitching and uh, doing some of the lace and ribbon work using the edge stitcher. There's a lot you can do with the edge stitcher. Um, including some of your tucks. Oh, and the shirring foot right there. And the shirring foot, you can also do uh, um, smocking with it. And then a picture of the ruffler and the instructions for it. And it really is amazing. You can actually ruffle it and stitch it on at the same time. Uh, so you don't have to do two different steps. And here's more where it shows that you can actually do do the ruffle. Oh, and the ruffler does tucks too, I forgot to say. Um, notice here, they're, uh, they're doing the ruffling and adding the ribbon onto the blouse or whatever, all in one step. You notice it's not ruffled right here. And it's attaching the ribbon right there. And it's attaching the, it's, it's doing the tucks and or ruffles and adding that ribbon all in the one step. And here you can make like the little teeny tiny ruffles and sew it on at once. Um, some of the ruffles are things I've never seen before. I tend to think of the ruffles that you see on little girls dresses all the time. But uh, these show you, uh, this, this instruction manual shows you some of the other tucking and things that can be done with that. Um, as you can see, my little manual is falling apart. Um, but so, uh, that's the manual for the 201. But another cool attachment, this is a zigzagger. Now there's two different types of zigzaggers. No, three types of zigzaggers, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's one zigzagger that doesn't have a box. This is another attachment I have, which is a cording foot. It, it can do cording and uh, all kinds of other cool stuff. I don't think it's actually a singer part, but it's something you can get with your featherweight or singer sewing machine. This is the singer blind stitch attachment in its box. And you can actually, uh, uh, even though the, the, these old singers were straight stitch only machines, um, you can actually do this. This does a zigzag type blind stitch. So it's the blind stitch attachment. See, I've got it upside down here. There we go. So you can see it. So that's that's the blind stitch attachment of one of them. And then underneath this little flipped out drawer, I have a few other things. This is the most incredible zigzagger. Zigzagger foot to go see Singer Automatic Zigzagger. It says it's for the 301. Um, now, some machines have slant shanks and some have straight shanks. Now, you'll need the ones for the like the low shank uh, ones. You need the uh, straight up and down uh, low shank one. Um, being for the 301, this may be a slant shank. I don't remember or not if it is or not. Um, but anyway, I should show you the manual. There's the manual around the edge. You'll notice it shows um, some multi, uh, uh, let's see, some little mountain looking zigzags and some little domino or brick zigzags and then some lovely little straight stitch scallops. And then some lovely arrow embroidery. But um, I just happen to have extra cams with mine. And so besides the, this one's the arrow cam. I've got the regular zigzag one in it right now. This one is a little mountain and or icicle one. 
and this one is the little scallopy thing. Here is a multi-stitch zigzag where you get what five stitches in each zig and five stitches in each zag which is really really cool and then here is the little domino uh, one there's actually a few more but I don't that's all the ones that I have um, so that is a zigzagger that you can actually um, do zigzag and embroidery with your serum sewing machines down here Okay, I have the uh, professional button hauler down here. Um, professional button hauler from Singer. It's a little newer item. And uh, even though the box is, says it's for a slant shank, I actually have a, a low shank um, button hauler put in it. Um, here's another one of the blind stitch attachments. And here is another official singer zigzagger like the one that I have that didn't have a box and so if I'm going to open I'll show you it has the little zigzagger in it and you can do little designs with it and uh, um, you can also do some of the lace joinery or you can actually do blind hemming with it as well um, and here's the little manual for it the singer adjustable zigzag attachment and of course they have pictures lovely pictures that show you what parts are for doing what and show it on the machine and using it um, it's also very good if, apparently for sewing on um, uh, well like cording it shows sewing on cording right there um, and here's different versions of stitches. You can make it look different with different cording and different lengths of stitches. Um, showing, joining some pieces, doing some tucks with it. Um, there's the tucks on the front and normally, in, unless you want the, uh, thread, and you can use either a color of thread that will, um, emphasize the the tucks and or you can use this if you want it to be invisible thread then just match your thread to your fabric so it doesn't show as much um, you can actually with the zigzagging stuff you can actually do some peacoat uh, and uh, hem stitching look stuff too there's a monogram done with the lace edging and monogram applique on a slip done with the little zigzagger but anyway so I think that is I think that's all my little attachments I have for my singers right now I think I could be wrong <laughs> sometimes I forget um, but don't think that just because you have uh, old sewing machines don't assume that they're only going to be able to do a straight stitch and then you won't be able to do any other cool stuff with them. These old machines, particularly if you get these extra attachments, you will not believe the incredible stuff that you can do with these. I can't tell you how exciting it is. Uh, it just is mind-blowing in my opinion how exciting it is all the fun stuff that you can do with your Singer sewing machines. Um, even though they are quite old. Um, uh, believe it or not, some of these things are actually more sophisticated than most of your inexpensive plastic sewing machines that you can buy today. And these rufflers, I honestly didn't know that women had these rufflers and the zigzaggers and embroidery and capability, all these special feet that uh, do special stitching. Um, so you can really do some very, um, what do you call that? Um, the, not gourmet, but couture sewing that you can do um, with your uh, Singer sewing machine. And so I really do encourage you to uh, investigate these and uh, see for yourself what incredible things that you can do um, and what incredible little 
extra accessories and things that you can find to do cool stuff. Lovely little sock darner and freestyle embroidery. Cool stuff, huh? Well, anyway, that is it for right now, I think. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little bit about what your sewing machine can do. Particularly these lovely buttonholes. And for some reason, my camera does not want to zoom in and focus. Very strange. I guess I'll be editing this. Anyway, enjoy your sewing. Bye-bye.